sounds in String Studio VS3 are created from either a plucked string oscillator, a bowed string oscillator, or a hammered string oscillator. The properties of each can be altered in a variety of ways before being run through body and filter modules, and then processed by a multi-effects module. Version 3 is now a two-part multi-timbral instrument, combining two oscillators with fully independent pathways and processing for complex split or layered sounds. The programs are grouped and organized into packs, and right now I've got the factory library, and I've got a sound from there called Spiky Spank, and we can see that it's single layer with layer A controls over here, and layer B controls turned off over here. Let's modify this sound. I'm gonna to go to the synth engine, and let's change the way it's struck. And let's change some filter settings. I'm dialing in some LFO. And we'll change the rate to a dotted quarter. And let's change the body type size. Let's change the mass for a darker sound. We'll go to the effects and we'll increase the reverb. Presets for each layer slot are loaded using the layer browser. Let's turn on layer B and solo it. We'll go to the browser here and layers from other sounds are displayed by clicking on the sounds button in the top left corner while user saved layer presets are displayed by clicking on the saved layers button and there's one you can see that I saved. Let's go back to the sounds and I'm going to navigate to the Daniel Stosic signature library. We can switch categories here. I'm gonna to go to keys and let's try sweet mellows and we can see which layer these were used in in their original presets. Let's go with this one and modify some of the parameters. I'm gonna change the filter type to a notch. And let's turn on the body. the effects and change the delay value and add a bit more as well as some more reverb. Let's hear the two together. We can pan the layers and adjust the level. Let's save this layer that we've customized using the layer utilities. And now it'll appear in my saved layers. On the play page, we can have these two layers played back based on a split point in the keyboard. We set the split point in the layer settings either manually from the drop-down menu or with MIDI Learn by enabling this and hitting a note on the keyboard. Welcome to String Studio VS3.